students, you are welcome to another online class of financial accounting. My name is Madamasi Efes, your financial accounting teacher. You are welcome to the class. Uh, last week, we discussed a uh, double entry principle. I told you that the double entry principle states that whatever has debit entry or has the corresponding debit entry and vice versa. And I also told you that we apply double entry principle to pull transactions into the ledger with the help of double entry principle. Post transaction to different ledger. The topic that we are going to discuss today links with what we discussed last week. In other words, it is a continuation of the double entry principle that we discussed last week. And that topic is uh, on the board for balance. After <laughs> You have posted transactions to different uh, ledger accounts by applying the principle of double entry. You are expected to balance each of these ledger accounts, and the balance in each ledger account will find its way to another financial record. That financial record where balances. You know your ledger account will be transfer is what we call tra balance. So that is why I told you that the topic we discussed last week is very much related to what we are going to discuss today. In fact, it is the continuation of the topic that we discussed uh, last week, and that is tra balance. What do you mean by tra balance? Tra balance is a list of debit and credit balances extracted from the ledger. You can see we discussed ledger last week and we said that after you have posted your transaction to the ledger, you need to balance that ledger. So the balance in each ledger will not be transferred to the travelance. And that's why we describe travelance as the list of debit and credit balances extracted from the ledger account. Travel balance is used to check the arithmetical accuracy of our posting in the ledger. That is, the transfer that you have posted to the ledger, if you have posted them correctly or not, it is travel balance that will confirm that. Because if all the postings into the ledger have been done correctly, the two sides of travel balance will agree. In other words, the two sides of travel balance will balance from accounting point of view. But if there is error or there are errors in your posting in the ledger, it will reflect in the travel balance. Now, what are the purpose of travel balance or the uses of uh, Travelance. Uses of travelance. As I said, travelance is used to check the arithmetical accuracy of ledger. That is to confirm whether our posting in the ledger are all correct or not. Another uh, importance of travel balance is that travel balance assists in the preparation of final account. It assists in the preparation of final account.
Now, the second uh, use of travelant is that it facilitates the preparation of final accounts. Uh, what are the final accounts? The final accounts are trading accounts, profit and loss accounts, and the balance sheet. Though balance is not an account, but a statement, but it's still part of the, the final account that we are talking about. And when we are talking of final accounts, these are the accounts that are very, very important to the owner of the business. Because all these are accounts that shows whether the business is making progress or not. They are the account that shows whether the business is making profit or loss. And the main aim or objective of uh, forming any business is to make profit. Now see the importance of that uh, final account that we are talking about. So this travel we are talking about facilitates that it makes the preparation of final account easy. In fact, most of the information that we need for the preparation of this final account will be taken from the travel account. Now, another importance of uses of a travel account is that it provides a comprehensive list of account balances. Now, all the balances that you need to prepare other accounts will be extracted from the travel account. So, after the ledger has been prepared, all the balances in this ledger will be extracted and transferred to the travel account. So, there is no balance that you need, the financial record that you will not find in the travel account. That's why we say provide a comprehensive list of account balances. Now, the next thing we are going to look at is rules which govern the posting of balances into the travel balance. So if you look at the travel balance, you find information on the assets of the business, you find information on the liabilities of the business, you find information on gain and income of the business. You also find information on all the expenses of the business. For each of this category of item that you find in the travel balance will be posted to a specified uh, site. And as you know, in account we have two sites. So the same thing is applicable to the travel balance. It has debit side that credit side. Now, what item will be recorded on the debit side of the travel balance and what items will be recorded on the credit side of the travel balance? The rules governing the recording of travel balance will tell us all this. For instance, let's look at them one by one. Rules Now, let's look at rules governing the recording of travel balance. The first one, all assets are recorded on the debit side. You know, I told you we have two sides in the travel balance. We have the debit side, we have the credit side. So, if you are able to identify a particular item to be an asset, be it fixed assets or foreign assets. You know that the principle says that the value of that asset must be debited to the traveler. In other words, to be recorded on the debit side of the traveler. So that is why we say all assets are recorded on the debit side of the traveler. Then number two, liability. Another items that you find from the ledger are those liability account like creditors, account like loan account. All these are liability. So you want to extract that balance from the ledger to the travel balance. 
All the liability will be recorded on the credit side of the travel line. Now that one, all liability will be credited. Then we have expenses. Expenses account. Total expenses account. Salaries and wages account. Uh, uh, electricity account. All these are expenses account. So all expenses will be debited to the travel line. That was to be recorded on the debit side of the travel line. Then we have income, gain, and provision. All these will be recorded on the credit side of uh, the travel line. We also have drawings. That is, if you own a business, you draw cash or even goods for its own personal use. So that one will go to drawings account. So the balance in that drawings account will be recorded on the debit side of the travel line. And we also have return in work, which is also known as a sales return. So the value of return in work will be debited to the travel line, while return at work, which is a purchases return, the value will be recorded on the credit side of the travel line. We have, we have the last one, capital. Capital will always be credited to the travel line. So if you are able to post all these items correctly, to the appropriate side of the travel land. By the time you had, the two sides of the travel land will agree. That's why we normally say that uh, the travel land has a balance, which means that the total for the debit side must equal to the total for the credit side. And you can say that your travel land has a balance. So this can also be used to prepare the format of travel land. All you need to know is to identify which items are assets, which items are expenses, which items are liability, and so on and so forth. So to be able to put them correctly, if you follow these uh, rules of the board. So I think that's all we have on the uh, travel uh, I will not give you the assignment for the week, which will be submitted and I'll be able to go through them and uh, probably comment on them if you have any question on me. So let's write the assignment that will be shown on the board. Now, for your assignment, you can check the assignment corner. So I will post that assignment to the assignment corner for you to see. So you can just check it at your own level time and attention. So any comment that you have, you can send it to the uh, class uh, comment for me to attend to this comment. Thank you.